Hello everyone welcome to unlock maths today we are going to discuss particular integral when we have x is equals to sin ax or cos of ax yes we know that we have this uh, linear differential equation with constant coefficient in this form f of d y is equals to x where this x is function of x or that may be constant here we have taken x is equals to sin or cos now we know that pi is equals to we have this one so for finding pi for this one we will write x is here sin or cos yes we will take here sin ax now a is here constant yes now here we have to operate this one upon f of d on this sin integral yes so what we have to do yes we know that this f of d this is a function of d that means here in this f of d there may be terms of d d square yes so what what we have to do here we have to replace this d square is equals to minus a square so that we will get here yes by replacing this one we will get this is f of minus a square so yes we have to write here f of minus a square right sin of ax so condition is that this denominator should not be zero yes this denominator should not be zero that means this should not be zero here if this get zero yes we have to say that that case get fails so in that case what we have to do here yes what will be pi then we have to multiply this is by x and we have to take the derivative of this f of d so we have here a derivative of f of d that will be f dash of d and again we have to replace this d square is equals to minus a square so that we will have here f dash of this is minus a square so yes we have to write down this f dash of minus a square and this is sin ax as it is again condition is that this denominator should not get zero yes if again if that get zero yes here we have this denominator yes here we have this f dash yes we have to say that case fails and then how to proceed next here again we have to multiply this by x so we will have here x square and now here we will have f2 dash of minus a square and condition is that this denominator should not be zero here yes and we have to proceed this is until we will not get this finite pi or we can say that until we will not get this denominator which is free from d right so yes we have to proceed for pi in this way yes we have to check that here when we have sin or cos when we have this x is equals to sin or cos we have to replace this d square by minus a square right so we will have this one and condition is that this denominator should not be zero here yes and if that get zero that means this f of minus a square yes that get zero then we have to multiply this is by x and we have to take the derivative of this so that we will get f dash of d and again we have to replace d square is equals to minus a square so that we will have here f dash of minus a square and again condition is that this denominator should not be zero and we have to proceed in this way so that we will get finite pi so yes we will see some example on this one so that this rule get clear now here we have to find the pi for this differential equation yes we know that 
formula for pi we have this one yes this is f of d and sin 3x this is required x okay so what is here what we have to do we have to replace this d square is equals to minus a square right yes so what is a here a is here this is coefficient of x that is here 3 so that a square is equals to here yes this is 9 so that minus a square is equals to minus 9 yes so we will replace this d square by minus a square yes yes when we put this is d square is equals to minus a square this denominator doesn't vanish here so that we have put this value here yes on simplification we got this one so this is the required pi yes now we can check that this denominator is free from d that means this is the required pi for this given differential equation yes next we have to find the pi for this differential equation yes we will write down pi formula for pi we have this one we will put the value of f of d and x yes yes we know that its operator form yes first we should write operator form of this one so what is here operator form yes this is we have write down in operator form yes so that we will put here this f of d we have this d square d plus 1 and x is here cos of 2x yes now we have to operate this 1 upon f of d on this cos yes so yes what we have to do we have to replace this is d square is equals to minus a square so what is a here a is here 2 so minus a square is here minus 4 yes a square is here 4 so that minus a square is equals to minus 4 yes we will write down this is here yes now on simplification we will get this one yes now we can check that in denominator we have this is d minus 3 now we have to operate this on this cos of 2x so yes what we have to do here we have to do the rationalization so that we will have d square in denominator yes for this we will multiply this one by this d plus 3 and d plus 3 to denominator and numerator we will multiply by this one yes so that in numerator we will have d plus 3 and this is d square minus 9 yes now we can check that in denominator here we got d square that means we have to replace d square is equals to minus a square yes so we will have here yes so on simplification we got yes now we got here d plus 3 yes so now what we have to do yes now we know that what is d d is the derivative d is the operator yes so we have to operate this derivative on this one so on simplification we will get this is derivative of this is cos of 2x plus 3 into cos of 2x yes so we will have here cos 2x its derivative this is minus sin 2x into 2 plus this is as it is right so yes we got this is required pi this is the required pi for given differential equation yes how we have proceed here when we have this pi we have replaced d square is equals to minus a square so that we get this term now 
in denominator we need the term of d square right for this we have done the rationalization of this one we have multiplied this numerator and denominator by this d plus 3 yes on simplification we got this one yes term of d square in denominator so we have replaced d square is equals to minus a square and now we have proceed for getting this required pi yes now again we have to find the pi yes we have to solve this differential equation that means we have to find its cf and pi so first we will write down auxiliary equation this is so we have yes we got this root yes so that cf yes how the roots are here this roots are complex yes now we can write cf here yes this is the cf for this given differential equation now next we want pi and it is given by this one we have to put the value of f of d and x yes now we have to operate this one upon f of d on this one now we can check that here we have cos square x and our rule is that we need cos of ax or sine of ax that means this sine or cos that is free from its power right so we will write this cos square x as yes we have this result yes we know this one so we can put this value here yes we need for finding pi we need cos or sine term which is free from its power right so we have write down this formula this result here yes so now we can simplify this one we have taken one by two outside yes now we can check that we got two function here yes so we have to operate this f of d separately yes now what we have here we have this is constant and we know that we have seen in last lecture when we have constant we have to write down that is in exponential form yes so that we can simplify this and here we have cos that means we have to replace this is d square is equals to minus a square right so here a we have this 2 so that we will have yes this one yes now on simplification we have here yes this is we have to apply this is by case first when we have this exponential we have to replace this d by a right yes and a is here 0 yes this is case first exponential case so yes we have to replace this is d by this a this is the coefficient of x so here we have this one and again we can write e raised to 0 x as a 1 and we have this is so what we got here yes this is minus so on simplification we will have this pi yes so this is the pi for given differential equation yes here we have to note that we have write down cos square x by this formula so that cos or sine is a free from its power right so yes in this way we have proceed for finding pi when we have sine or cos and we have to note that this should be free from its power so yes this is the required so that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching